Y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out the WWE King and Queen tournament is cursed. UFC versus WWE and fan jumps rail and instantly regrets it. This should be a very interesting one. Uh, as y'all say, that's my catchphrase. <laughs> um, I have been seeing certain people that were supposed to be in the King and the Queen tournament recently get injured before they were even able to actually be in the tournament so they had to have replacements which is kind of weird uh, like strange that that's been happening um and a fan jumping the rail i already know this probably ended bad for them but we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel let's get right into this wrestling related news wrestlemia here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including is this tournament cursed main event j is now the eater of worlds are we gonna get <laughs> ufc versus wwe matches a fan jumps into the ring alexa bliss teases her return and much more be sure to subscribe and hit that notification Don't bell jump for in the daily ring, wrestling videos and follow us on facebook it's not for worth exclusive lists also check out new get. videos on it's wrestlemia xl it. and now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story Now first we looks at the King of the Ring tournament cursed. As the 2024 King and Queen of the Ring tournaments replace the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship as the last place any wrestler wants to be right now, fans will recall the unusual number of wrestlers who were injured while they held the women's tag titles and now superstars competing in the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments are dropping like flies, including Asuka, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley and Xavier Woods, yeah. with Zelina Vega being the latest. Yeah, Raw General Manager crazy. shared the bad news on X saying, I have a bit of unfortunate injury news. Zelina Vega will not be medically cleared to compete tonight and therefore will be stepping out of the Queen of the Ring tournament, which is unfortunate given her past history as a Queen of the Ring. It would have been nice to see her try to regain that crown, but injury bug strikes again, which opens the door of opportunity for one Maxine Dupree who wow. will receive the biggest opportunity of her young career as she will step in tonight against Shayna Baszler. Once again, Zelina Vega out, Maxine Dupree. <laughs> if Shayna Baszler doesn't snap her in half, And that's cool. Maxine is getting this opportunity. She has been getting better. Slowly but surely, but. Shayna Baszler, it should take her no longer than five minutes on this match. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm, I am one of those people. I want Shayna Baszler to really get a good push and, and, and give her something. That's all I'm saying. That's I, I want Shayna Baszler to flourish. In Zelina, who became the inaugural Queen's Crown winner in 2021, tweeted about her absence, saying, "Heartbroken, being the first ever that crown was." Okay, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> but that being said, I'm super grateful to have a history-making moment in WWE history books. The eight-year-old me is still super proud. Shayna Baszler, this ain't over. You can be Queen of Spades, keep playing them cards. I'll forever be the first ever Queen of the Ring. Maxine, you got this, sis. Show them who you are. And for those wondering, Maxine didn't pull off an upset, which means Baszler advanced to the quarterfinals and will face Io Sky. Meanwhile, fans are puzzled by... Yeah, did he just... <laughs> he Did he just spoil it? Wait a minute. <laughs> upset which means Baszler advanced I was wondering Maxine didn't pull off an upset which means Baszler advanced to the quarterfinals and will face EO Sky yeah Shane and Baszler yeah okay meanwhile fans are puzzled by the incredible amount of injuries plaguing the WWE and AEW both promotions have seen various stars sideline and while the companies have deep rosters yeah. it's a problem that needs to be investigated especially if it's something that can be corrected with changes in yeah, schedules so the type of, moves a lot of in matches or something else while there's also the possibility that this is just an unfortunate series of events, it makes sense that the alarming number of injuries weren't some sort of inquiry. Next up, yeah. WWE looking for changes to WWE crowds. It looks like the WWE is hoping to recreate the fan enthusiasm from Backlash France with its domestic shows. Fightful's Corey Brennan is reporting, Fightful has learned that Jey Uso's reactions at Backlash were received incredibly well within WWE, with the company planning to heavily push fans towards mimicking the Leon crowd for Jey's entrances mm. in the future. The fans' enthusiasm was incredible, although there were different opinions on the fans' response, with critics arguing that the fans made the show more about themselves than the in-ring action. Nonetheless, some fans and WWE superstars absolutely loved it, and WWE management apparently wants more of it at live events. Hey, man. That Jey Uso entrance was 
fucking fantastic. I don't know how you can replicate that because you got to get people to want to do that. But either way, Jey Uso's entrance was fantastic, man. Next up is Jey Uso getting a different entrance. The WWE's rumored goal of hyping up its fans at shows has already led to change in a top star's entrance. Fightful Select's Corey Brennan is reporting, we're told that the crowd lighting will continue to be dimmed during Uso's entrance mm. and any example of Uso's theme being played in the mainstream will continue to be showcased on television. Yep. Main event Jey Uso commented on the fans lighting up the arenas with their cell phones during his entrance, so tweeting, y'all ain't got no damn choice, fireflies are mine now, hashtag yeeter of worlds. If fans continue to get behind Jay by lighting up... <laughs> the Yido world, that's where that came from. Okay, man. Rest in peace, Bray, man. Arenas with Fireflies, there has to be the question of whether this will turn into a storyline should Uncle Howdy return to the WWE. Now that is very interesting. It's very interesting. That could be something. If, you, if I'm WWE, I pay attention to that. I tell Jay, go ahead and tweet that. And you can start to do something there. You can really start to do something there. It could be a situation where maybe Jay was playing. He didn't really mean it that seriously. No disrespect. But Uncle Hadi didn't see it that way. Ah, you can cook up. You can cook up. That's a that's a really good booking idea. What y'all think about it? That I'm all for that. It would definitely give something Jay to really sink his teeth into. Granted, I know at some point he's going to have to get involved with the bloodline stuff, so I don't know if they want to do that. But it's, it's you could do something with it for sure. Could Howdy target Jay for what he sees as Uso stealing Bray Wyatt's entrance? It's a possibility that shouldn't be ruled out. What do you guys think about this change by the WWE as well as Jay's comments? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, LA Knight work. discusses major matches moved to live event. LA Knight was one of several superstars who had their King and Queen of the Ring tournament matches move from TV to live events, a situation that some fans felt was a letdown for said superstar. The WWE reportedly had to move a few matches because it didn't have the time to air them all on Raw and SmackDown, resulting in the matches taking place at live events. However, LA Knight seems to be okay with this match being moved as Knight tweeted, I appreciate everyone saying this match should have been on TV, but no need to throw live event crowds under the bus. Mm -hmm. Live events are where the WWE roster has as much fun as possible. Not only having a great match, but a match with a huge stakes makes the live events more fun. Mm -hmm. While the WWE might deserve blame for poor time management, mm -hmm. that is trying to schedule so many matches on Raw and SmackDown, given its struggle to fit in many matches on Raw, SmackDown and even PLEs, Knight raises a very good point about the matches enhancing live events. The WWE's live events are fun shows for fans, but it's long been established that nothing of consequence occurs at them, primarily title changes. Title changes are unlikely to occur at live events, especially since title changes are infrequent, if not rare. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, it's likely refreshing for fans to go to shows knowing they're seeing matches with consequences for the WWE product. Do you guys agree with LA Knight's take on things? Let us know in the comments down below. I don't have a problem with it, because I, I get what he's saying. If if a match he's having has some type of weight on a live event show, it makes people who goes to see these live events want to see them even more. Like, hey, we may have to go check out this live event because something here could really be impactful to the day-to-day -day television that not many people get to see like that. So uh, it, it just depends. I, I You know, it, it really does depend on the situation. Granted, of course, seeing LA Knight have his moment on live television, I'm all for that. But I wouldn't trip, you know what I'm saying, if he has an important match and it happens to be on a live event, you know, I'm, I'm all for it either way. Next up, did Dana White just open the door for UFC versus WWE matches? Could WWE fans see UFC fighters stepping into the WWE to work matches? UFC president Dana White seemed to open the door for this during a recent post-show press conference saying some of the fighters that fight here have always dreamed about doing a WWE match or whatever crazy. it is. I don't have a problem with that. I didn't have a problem with that when Vince was constantly effing me around for no reason. And now that's not the case anymore. Obviously, I'd absolutely do it. Wow. Vince McMahon's exit from the WWE continues to make more things possible, including WWE wrestlers appearing in other promotions and vice versa. Now yeah. that WWE and UFC are... I believe Randy was at a recent UFC event. And I think I saw the clip of the, the fighter. I think he ended up winning the match. He went out there, met Randy Orton, hugged him and shit. Like, it was, it was like a cool moment. He won the match, won the fight, went out the octagon to meet Randy Orton and hug him and celebrate with him. So, I know for a fact...
I don't think y'all got, I don't know if y'all heard that. The reason why I stopped, and I'm probably going to keep this in the video, I believe that was Thunder. It's it's storming in Houston. I believe that was Thunder. Either way, it, it's, it's definitely believable that there are quite a bit of UFC talent that would love to do some stuff in the WWE because I'm sure they grew up watching WWE. So, hey, I'm all for it if it makes sense. Under the Endeavor umbrella, there are plans to hold weekend See? events featuring UFC and WWE shows, a situation that may lead to the WWE moving PLE events from Saturday to Sunday. Having UFC fighters work an occasional match. Now, I would prefer it still being on Saturday. That's just my preference. I love the PLEs on Saturday, but we'll see how that plays out. It helped both companies. While both companies are doing very well, there's always a pressure to do better, especially with a publicly traded company. Mm -hmm. Next up, what does Will Ospreay think about Adam Copeland? What does Will Ospreay think about WWE Hall of Famer Adam Copeland working in AEW? Osprey no long ago shared his thoughts on Triple H questioning wrestlers who didn't want to work the grind in WWE and had this to say about the rated R superstar's presence in All Elite Wrestling. The one thing that needs to be said out loud, it's so effing amazing having Adam Copeland in the locker room and putting on these types of matches in this part of his career. Copeland certainly has been phoning it in during his time in AEW oh, no, yeah, and he's no. made a point to appear regularly on AEW's different TV shows and pay-per-views. The Rated R Superstar made it clear that he jumped to AEW because he didn't want to finish his career with limited appearances, which was apparently the role that WWE offered him. Would you guys like to see Cope? Fucking... I doubt it would be that way now. I, I, I just refuse to think that it would be that way now. I think it's just a circumstance of Vince was still around and didn't really have much for him. I just refuse to think that they would have had him sitting around not doing nothing. If Triple H was truly in control, like fully in control. So, but hey, he's doing what he wants to do, and I'm not mad at it. He's enjoying himself. So he deserves to be out there and 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 having fun. You know what I'm saying? He's enjoying his career. Who am I to tell him any anything else? You know what I'm saying? So Copeland and Osprey work a match down the road. Let us know in the comments down below. It. Next up, a fan jumps the barricade and pays for it. A video of a foolish fan's failed oh, efforts to apparently no. rush the ring during an episode of AEW Collision is now circulating online. I did Ringside not see this. reports an apparent fan jumped the security barricade and presumably was on their way to the ring after the match finished. However, security caught the inept intruder with video showing the individual being taken away. Wrestling fans being wrestling fans erupted with a chant of UF dub, only to add to the person's embarrassment. Stupid, Finally, Alexa though. Bliss teases her return. Dumb. Last but not least, Alexa Bliss fans should take note as Little Miss Bliss dropped a note on X recently teasing her return. Just you wait. Mm. While this suite isn't much to go on, Bliss backers are so excited about her pending return at this point, they'll take anything as evidence of a return. She hasn't been on TV since she lost a match against Bianca Belair at 2023's Royal Rumble. Her yeah, fans are curious minute. as to whether she'll continue what appeared to be a storyline involving Uncle Howdy, as we reported last week, is expected at the King of the Ring or mm. something else. As for Bliss, she hinted a return at SummerSlam, which takes place in her hometown of Cleveland. But for now, fans will have to wait. But there you have it, folks. The very wildest... interesting what they could do with her. The di division could definitely use her. It's going to be very interesting to see what they have in store for her. Um, looking forward to it, actually. I am. Never been the biggest of Alexa Bliss fans, especially what they did with her in the gimmick. And I think it kind of they kind of ran rampant with the whole Bray Wyatt gimmick powers being transferred to her. But at the same time, you know, I, I don't I don't hate the person, you know what I'm saying? And she's had some pretty decent moments. She's not that bad on the microphone as well. Um, it will be very, very interesting to see what they do with her coming back. And I am interested in seeing that. So comment down below let me know man would y'all be okay with seeing potentially more ufc stars that actually want to be a part of wwe in a, in a situation in a limited capacity of course would y'all be okay with ufc stars wanting to be a part of wwe in a limited capacity let me know down below if it's booked right but i appreciate all the love support road to 150k and i'm still getting to be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace